I'm Terry M, and welcome to my unboxing and review of the July 2020 Ink Goddess Creations box. Just a brief spoiler alert, I will be doing a complete unboxing and review of the entire contents of the July 2020 Ink Goddess Creations subscription box, so if you're expecting this month's box and don't want to spoil the surprise for yourself, please watch this video after you've received and opened yours. This is my very first Ink Goddess Creation subscription box, and I'm super excited about it. Um, the subscription box I previously subscribed to kind of increasingly grew away from my tastes and expectations, so I decided to give them a rest and try a different subscription box. A couple people suggested that I try Ink Goddess, and so I checked out their website, and I was really eager to sign up after what I saw there. Um, first thing that sold me on this box was that I could view a gallery of past boxes on their website at inkgoddesscreations.com, which is great because I could look at the complete contents of months and months of past boxes and see for myself what sort of things were included. And they were impressive, especially considering the low price of the box. Which leads me to the next selling point, which is the price. Uh, this box is only $30 US, and that even includes shipping. I don't have a huge budget for subscription boxes, so price is definitely a big factor for me. There are even more savings if you subscribe, such as 3 months is $85 US and 6 months is $158 US. And details for Canadian or international orders are also available on their website. Another great thing about Ink Goddess Creations is that there's a core set of expectations for each box. Um, each box will always include an exclusive handmade scented candle, a DIY of some sort, like a kit or meditation focus or altar setup, and three or more additional themed products, and um, informational cards also. When the box curators lay out core expectations like that, it really helps to guarantee that you're getting your money's worth, and it makes it more difficult for the curators to put out a box that's a complete dud. Finally, this box is good, uh, therefore it's popular, and since there are only so many to go around, it sells out. I actually missed the deadline for the June box, so I made sure to make up for it for this July box and signed up immediately so I knew I wouldn't miss out. Ink Goddess has several options for subscribing, uh, which you can view on their website. They also have one-time themed boxes, a kid's box, a full catalog, all available at inkgoddesscreations.com. And, uh, for this time around, uh, because I'm new to it, I chose a one-time option so I could try it out and see what I thought. So let's take a look. The box comes just like this. Really nice branded box. Very pretty. Um, let's see. Social media links and there is a hashtag for posting. It says, read first. This month's box is meant to be an experience for your senses. Explore each item in the box and identify which sense or senses it appeals to the most. The content card is found at the bottom of the box, so after you've gone through everything, you can then read the content card to see how we categorize the items for this month's box. Enjoy. Okay. And I do remember that this box theme is um, something like witchy senses or something like that some nice black tissue paper and I'm gonna start here because this was the preview and when they previewed it I thought this was a whole bunch of different dream catchers and you were just gonna get one this is a whole linked like wall hanging of a dream catcher and there's a little like glass or plastic prism on the end Chakra colors, so this is like a, a chakra wall hanging. I think that's plastic. Yeah. Very cute. Very nice. I would hang that up somewhere. So it's like chakra colors, so gee, I guess sight? 
and spirit maybe would be the senses involved with that particular item a little individual T. <clears throat> Higher consciousness. And that is hibiscus, yerba mate, jasmine, and stevia. Mm, smells really good. And I would say this is definitely um, the sense of taste could be the sense of smell also because you're gonna smell that and then even sight because there's lots of flower petals and everything in there so it probably makes a very pretty touch, cup of tea and maybe even touch since it's gonna be warm and I think I know what this is incense matches I love incense matches I haven't had these in a long time but it's the incense match these are bayberry scented not sure if every box has the same scent or if it's randomized but um, if you've never had incense matches before, they open up like a regular book of matches. And they strike, just like a regular match. You strike your match, and then out in it, put it into um, a little heat-proof dish, and it burns just like incense. Um, only it's not quite as long of a commitment as a whole stick of incense. Um, I don't know, maybe they burn for five minutes or so. Um, but it smells really nice not overly scented i don't think this is going to give me any headaches so um that always makes me very happy and so that would definitely be scent and that could also be sight for the smoke and it could also be spirit because incense is of course a very spiritual sort of thing to burn and right next to that was a votive so this is the candle for this month, and I got a white votive. I'm not sure if every everybody gets the same one, or if it's randomized. I hope everyone gets the same one, because this smells really good. Um, I'm not sure what it smells like, but it's a clean and very light smell, which makes me happy. I don't like overly strong scented things, and I've actually received things in boxes from other subscription box companies. That were so strong that I couldn't use them. I had to re-gift them or <laughs> pass them on to somebody who could maybe uh, better handle it than I could. <clears throat> so, a s silver satin satchel. Let's see. And I hear stones. I know there's stones in there. Okay. Ooh, a Labradorite. Beautiful Labradorite. Tumbled. I love Labradorite. It's an absolute favorite of mine. And then... That is a raw Labradorite. So we have a tumbled Labradorite and a raw Labradorite. Which could definitely be touch, especially considering you have two textures of the same stone. So I would say absolutely touch. Um, for that one. And sight, of course, as well, because Labradorite is beautiful. Um, it's an absolute favorite of mine. Um, there's an old lore about Labradorite that the Aurora Borealis was once trapped in stones until a warrior freed them with his spear. And Labradorite are supposed to be those stones. And, of course, they went up to the sky and became the Northern Lights. <clears throat> and uh, Labradorite's also also pertains to the sight. So that could also be part of the senses for that one. That might also pertain to sight as well because Labradorite is frequently used in that and also it's beautiful to look at. And let's see. I'm saving the box for last because there's a box in here and just... Past experience tells me that things that are in an extra box are usually interesting. End of end of the show kind of things. So let's see. We have an oil. This is. Let me take this out of this packaging. So 
this is Journey to Enlightenment Oil. Ritual Perfume Oil. That smells excellent. Very herbal smelling. I like that a lot. I smell lavender for sure. So it's, uh, let's see, apricot kernel oil, jojoba oil. Those are the carriers. Um, essential oils of sweet marjoram, Roman chamomile, clary sage, ylang ylang, sandalwood, vanilla, and lavender. Ah, that's wonderful. So, let's see. A lot of good scent senses in this one, but so yeah, I would definitely see that one is is scent. Um, but I've had sight, smell, taste, touch, spirit. So let's see, I've had sight, smell, taste, touch, spirit, and that's it so far, I think. So let's do the box, because I see a bunch of cards left, so we're going to look at the cards last. It's just a plain box. Interesting looking music box. I see that. It's a really nice deep blue and it's got some sort of etched designs and it's wooden. Oh, you are the magic and it has their Inked Goddess Creations logo on it. It's definitely a music box. So let's see. This is our, this is our sound because we haven't had sound thus far, except maybe a crackling candle flame. I hope it works. <laughs> it's Harry Potter. Oh. <laughs> if I could play it steadily, it would sound a lot better. Oh, and it starts over. Very cool. That is really fun. So I'm I'm guessing this is definitely our sound. And it's also sight because it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So this is the bulk of the stuff so far. And I already feel really super happy about what I've received here. Let's see what our cards say. Labradorite. Labradorite gemstones are revered for their powers of psychic development and magic. It is a stone to aid in any magic ritual and helps with transformation on all levels. Labradorites are great for increasing intuition and psychic development and can help provide clarity into one's own destiny. The concept of spiritual enlightenment spans many belief systems, most notably Buddhism, Hinduism, and New Age spiritualism. Of all the different definitions of enlightenment, or how to best achieve it, many ideas remain consistent. Spiritual enlightenment is when you have achieved a state of living your authentic self. You have surpassed the limiting confines of your ego, and are living free of pain and suffering. Very few have achieved actual spiritual enlightenment, and most of us are still amidst a spiritual awakening. We have identified our flaws and are actively working towards cleansing them, opening ourselves to the positive energy of the universe and shedding our egotistical ways. Okay. Clearing energy with sound. 
Sound can be an important tool for cleansing and charging energy in a room. Sound not only moves stagnant energy, but can also remove negative energy with its vibrations. Then, using a sound type or frequency of your choice, you can charge the room with a particular energy. Easy ways to use sound for clearing energy are bells, singing bowls, shakers and rattles, drums, your voice, tuning forks, music, pots and pans, cymbals, gongs, musical instruments, and clocks. Looks like we have one more eclectic witch card, and that is witchy ways to activate your senses. So for hearing, uh, witchy vibe music, singing bowls, wind chimes, drums, sight is nature, deity statues, witchy related art, and gemstones. Smell is kitchen witch cooking, incense, candles, herbs, and oils. Taste is tea, kitchen witch cooking and baking, coffee with herbs. Touch is raw and smooth gemstones, fur, herbs, and feathers. And third eye is divination, meditation, journaling, and dream work. And there's another... Um, looks like another oracle card, but I don't know what it is, but it is dignity. Take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices and achievements and actions. That's good advice. And then finally, this is the content card for this month, which he senses, and then there's the content on the back. So I'm going to read that. Which he senses, July 2020, sight, touch, taste, hearing, smell, intuition. Your senses help you connect to and experience the outside world. There are easy ways to weave magic into your daily life through your senses. Take the journey this month to explore witchy ways to activate your six senses. This month's Inked Goddess Creation Box contains Sight, Seven Chakra Woven Sun Catcher, so that was Sight, hang this energy sun catcher in your window so the sun hits the prism at the bottom and disperses light all over your sacred space. This beautiful tool for energetic alignment, alignment combines light energy with the color energy of the seven chakras. And they actually list on the content card values. And um, I think that's great also because we can see where they're coming from as far as the value and content of the box. I like that. That's a nice touch. So that is a $15 value. Um, raw and tumbled Labradorite. Our gems, one gemstone type, two different textures for you to explore. Labradorite will also help open your third eye, making it intuition activation as well. A $5 value. Taste. Higher Consciousness Herbal Tea Blend. A blend of hibiscus, jasmine, and more. This tea can help activate your taste buds and your intuition. A $2.50 value. Hearing. You are the magic music box. As a familiar witchy song plays, the message inside the box reminds you that you hold power and magic inside you. An $18 value. Smell. Molly's favorite votive candle. This month we had our candle maker Molly choose her four favorite candle blends to make for this box. So it was random. So see which one you chose or which one chose you from Lucid Dreaming White, Forest Fairy Green, Opportunity Red, and Weird Purple. A $2.50 value and uh, it looks like Clearly, I got the white one, which is the Lucid Dreaming Candle, and it smells really amazing. I love it. Incense matches. Use these matches to light your candles, but once burned out, they turn into mini incense sticks to help clear negative energy, a $1.25 value. I'm pretty sure I've paid more than $1.25 for a pack of incense matches. Intuition. Journey to Enlightenment Ritual Perfume Oil, a blend of chamomile, sage, lavender, and more to help you center and expand your consciousness, a $9 value. 
spiritual message card for you. One card from the Magical Times Empowerment card deck is included in each box as a message from the spirit just for you. So that's my dignity card, the, the one that was the different oracle. Um, that's the Journey to Enlightenment. No, that's the spiritual message card from the Magical Times Empowerment card deck. Value priceless. <laughs> that's, well, it's good advice, so it is priceless. Witchy Senses Expansion Pack for the Eclectic Witch Deck. Four cards on Witchy Senses, Sound Clearing, Labradorite, and Enlightenment to add to your collection of $4 value. And those are really nice. They feel great. They're good quality. I really, it makes me want more of that deck right away. I'm really interested in that. Total box value for this month, $57.25. That's, that's excellent. And frankly, I feel like I definitely, definitely got my money, money's worth out of this. And oops, there's one more card. And that is this one. And this is thank you for your Inked Goddess Creations box purchase this month. Here is your early access to next month's theme, Kitchen Witch 2. So that tells us a little bit about what's to come and <clears throat> what we can expect for next month. And I would definitely like to subscribe again to the Inked Goddess Creations box. So anyway, here are my impressions of the Inked Goddess Creations box. Um, first of all, core expectations. You know what you can count on and a certain standard of content shipping. This box got to me quickly and it arrived at the beginning of its coordinating month, which was really big for me because in the past I've received subscription boxes where I would get a month's box at the very end of the month or even at the beginning of the following month, which really annoyed me. Um, I'm excitable and I like being on time for things. <laughs> so I think that didn't gel well with me. And also I had the frustration where a box was themed towards a holiday or an event and it arrived after that holiday or event had already passed. So, I mean, who really wants to receive a midsummer themed box two weeks after midsummer has passed? Uh, price. I am seriously blown away by the price of this. Like I said, I paid 30 bucks for this box. As far as I'm concerned, shipping isn't free, so I could really take $5 of that, 30 and say, that's your shipping, that's your beautiful packaging and handling and all that stuff, and call this a $25 box and see even more value in, that, in the contents of that box. Packaging. Everything arrived safely and was nicely packaged. It shipped just as I showed you. It was not wrapped in a container or a mailer. I'm just pointing that out because if you need to use certain discretion where you live, it is not sealed up in a mailer or anything like that. I'm not sure if that's an option, but you could always um, inquire about that. Uh, various subscription options. So there are savings if you subscribe for a three or six month subscription, which is fantastic. And there are also Canadian and international options available, which you can look at on the website. Content. The theme was cohesive and very well carried out. There was nothing in this box that simply didn't belong or seemed like it was thrown in as an afterthought. I will seriously use everything in this box. I also really liked the original content, the unique blend of oil, the tea, the votive, and the oracle cards just further tied everything into their brand, and the music box was a really fun surprise. Overall, I'm super impressed with the Ink Goddess Creations box. It's clear that a lot of thought and care goes into curating the contents of this particular box and it absolutely exceeded my expectations. I definitely see more Inked Goddess Creations boxes in my future. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time.